Hi guys, welcome to our vlog and for today we're gonna talk about volleyball. So ano nga ba yung volleyball? So volleyball was invented by William G. Morgan na dati itong tinatawag na Mintonet. And ang national governing body ng volleyball ay USAV or tinatawag ng United States Volleyball. It is recognized by the International Governing Body of Volleyball which is Federation Internationale de Volleyball. Tsaka pala guys, yung United States Professional Volleyball League ay isang women's sabang lapit ba? Isang women's volleyball <laughs> professional league na nag-exist noong 2002 and nag-exist lang siya for one season. Sad na. Ayun lang. So, alam ko alam niyo ng history ng volleyball. So, why not? Let's talk about terminologies and mechanics para matuto tayo about volleyball. So, classmates, take it away. Whoa! Simula muna tayo sa terminologies ng volleyball. Una ay court. At meron itong dimension. Ito ay tinatawag na court dimension. Ang court dimension ay may 59 feet from end line to end line. And 29 feet, 6 inches wide. Next is antenna. Antenna is the vertical rods along the outside edge of the net extending 32 inches above the net to indicate out of bounds along the sideline. Any ball that touches the antenna is considered out. The purpose of antenna is to identify the faults within the play. Now it's my turn to discuss about the ball we need to use when playing volleyball. And according to FIVV or the Federal International Volleyball, the ball we need to use is this. It should be spherical ball made with leather or a synthetic leather. Regulated version conference of 25.6 to 26.4 inches or a 65 to 67 centimeter. And we all know that sa bawat laro, merong mga rules. And to make it a early game, meron tayong mga taong naka-assign dito na pinatawag na referee. Merong two kinds of referee. The first one is the after referee. And the second one is the down referee. The first one is the after referee. Or the main referee, he or she stays on the stand, while the down referee or the secondary referee, he or she stand on the floor at the opposite end of the net. Ang kino call out ng referee ay kinatawag na foul, a violation of rules that was called by a referee. May dalawang card nito, ito yung red card at yellow card. So yung red card, ito yung binibigay ng referee para dun sa mas malalang sanction. Tapos yung yellow card, ayun yung warning na binibigay naman ng referee. While yung line judges, sila naman yung kasama ng referee. Sila yung si signal to assist in making judgment calls. Sa volleyball, meron sila tawag na fault line. Once na, tuma na tumapak ka sa line, sa service, automatic sa kanila na yung points at yung possession ng bola. Ano nga ba ang serve? A serve is an act by one player to put the ball into play. The player is be located in the designated area behind the back line. Ibig sabihin, bawal ka lumagpas sa linya o bawal ka talaga lumagpas sa linya. At ang tawag sa taong nagsiserve ay server. Ang serve ay may iba't ibang uri. Pero syempre, hindi na ako magsasabi nun kasi makakakras ka na. First type of serve is called underhand serve. Like this. ay isang uri ng volleyball serve na kinakailangan ng pwersa at pagbuwel. So ngayon, hintudus ko naman sa inyo kung ano ang serve. So ang serve, hindi siya legal service pero isa siyang way o paraan para makaget ng point ang isang team. Guys, bago ko siya i-demonstrate sa inyo, isang mahalagang paalala lang po. Hindi pa ako pro player. Isa lamang pa akong sigyante na gustong matuto kung paano mag-serve. Kaya, tara! Let's serve! Papaliwanag ko naman sa inyo kung ano ang meaning ng ace. Ace is a serve not returned by opposing team. So, ang meaning lang nun, kung team nyo ang magsaserve at matouch man o hindi ng kabilang team ang bola, basta hindi nila naibalik sa inyo ang bola ng maayos, ang tawag doon ay ace. So now, 
we were gonna talk about rotation or service rotation in volleyball. Rotation is meant to make sure that all the players on the team will go ahead and serve in order and that they will stay on that order before the service is initiated. Yung rotation is pa-clockwise siya, so it means that all the players on the court will have the chance to serve. Short topic about volleyball, which is focus. Focus is, kailangan mo laging mitingin sa bola, lagi kang nakafocus sa bola, laging mata mo nakatingin sa bola, lagi. Nangyari! Set! O kaya, pag ano mo lang, sa pag-receive mo. Yan, yun palang focus na yun. O kaya, sa pag-set lang. Ano lang. Pag may mag-set, syempre dapat ready ka. Ready position, the flex, yet comfortable posture which a player assumes before moving to the point of contact. Dapat, yung moves mo, naka-bend. Yung kamay mo nasa unahan, so third down. Kasi inaantay mo yung bola kung saan siya tatama. Tapos kapag ka nakita mo na kung saan tatama yung bola, doon ka na, doon mo na, Nakaabangin yung bola pabalik sa opponent's side. Tapos, sa ganitong position, sa ganitong position, makikita mo kung saan, kung saan maglaland yung bola. Pass, the act of receiving and delivering the ball to the setting. In volleyball, passing starts when a specific player receives the ball from their opponent and makes the ball drift or move it to a specific direction or to the setting. Overhead pass, a ball handling skill using both hands simultaneously to contact the ball above head and direct it to the intended target. So this is the act of receiving the ball and delivering it above our head and making it trip towards a specific target, may it be our opponent or our ally. One of the terminologies in volleyball is the form arm pass. It is hitting the ball in controlled manner in order to serve the ball to the setter which is the playmaker of the game. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see in the picture, she has a control coming from her legs. And it is important to have a straight arm because if your arm is swinging, and it will resort in less controlled pass. The next one is play ball. This is the easiest way or easiest type of ball to pass without spiking the ball. And usually, this is because the other team cannot get a good pass or a good set and therefore, they must send the ball over just to keep it in play. One is the held ball. This often occurs when the players attempt to set the ball. When the players attempt to set the ball and the ball stops to their press in the player's hand and they attempt to throw back into the air, um, it is considered a held ball. Also, the balls come to the rest for more than maximum allowable time during contact resulting call. This is subjective call. And now, let's proceed to the term setter, which is usually played in this position. <laughs> the setter is much like the quarterback in football or the point guard in basketball. They are in charge of the offense. The setter is a critical position in volleyball. They decide who should get the ball and when. It doesn't matter how good the team hitters are if it doesn't have a setter that consistently delivers a good ball hit. Back set. A set made when the player who is setting the ball has her back towards the hitter. Normally, the setter back sets, but occasionally, a player other than the setter decides to get fancy and back sets to the designated hitter. It looks more difficult than it really is, but many players master the back set. Assist. Passing or setting the ball to a teammate who attacks the ball for a kill. The typical assist is a set, but generally, any ball delivered by one player to a second player to allow a second player is to make a kill is an assist. So yun guys, ang isa pang alam kong terminology ng volleyball ay ang libero. Libero, a player who can be substitute into a game freely in the back row for defense purposes. Usually, sila yung mga nagdadive, naghahabol ng bola sa isang game. Kaya kung gusto mong mahabol ng tao, mahal mo ay maging isa ka na ang libero. Here's another terminology of volleyball. Dig. 
The TIG is a forearm pass that is used to control the ball and pass it to the setter at the net. Defensive specialist. Oh, ano, itong position na to, um, kailangan consistent ka, tapos mabilis ka rin kumilos, tapos kailangan ano, sobrang lower talaga nung ano mo, yung position mo kasi ikaw yung ano, magsasalo ng bola kapag ano na, mababa na siya. <laughs> Hi! Nicole here at ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo kung anong ibig sabihin ng block sa volleyball. Ang block sa volleyball ay ang person line depends sa mga volleyball player kung saan pipigilan nila yung spike ball ng kalaban na makapasok sa net. So, ang nakikita ko sa mga volleyball players pag naglalaro ha, pansin ko lang to ha. Tatatas nila yung matas. Tatas nila yung dalawang kamay nila. Tapos nila makapunta yung spike ball. Comment down below. Black ah. <laughs> every time din natawa. Kung saan mau cross ni center line, mau touch mo yung net and other violation kung saan sa pag block ng bola. The center line, the boundary that runs under the net and divides court into two equal playing areas. Hi guys, so ngayon explain ko sa inyo kung ano ang floater or floater serve in volleyball. It is a serve with no spin, so the ball follows an unpredictable path. If someone attack the ball, it minimizes the rotation of it. And then, yung daloy ng bola is direct through the opponent's side. Natawag din siyang hard hit ball. Ano nga ba ang attack in volleyball? Attack describes the offensive skill or pattern if a team wants to score a point. So, isa sa mga strategy nito ay ang, ang pag-hit ng ball direct is floor. So, ay pinatawag na attack attempt. Ang goal nito ay ma-terminate and mapanalo yung game. Hit is one of the terminologies in volleyball. It is a striking a ball in an effort to terminate the rally for a side out or point. This is the example of the hit. It is when the player is uses open hand to the ball to send it over the net. Next is volleyball kill. Ang volleyball kill o ang kill is a successful attack that terminates a play or rally resulting in an immediate point or side out by team making the kill. Uh, ginagamit ito as their offense strategy to simply forcing the opponent to handle difficult balls that can result in point for your team. Line shot in contrast siya sa cross court shot kasi yung cross court shot are the angle defender while yung line shot usually they're attacking the ball maglalang siya sa opponent sideline. Hey guys! So we're going to talk about the back row attack. So it happens when a player rotated to the back row, jump behind the 3 meter line to hit the ball. Simula dun sa line, isahakbang ka backward ng 3 big steps, 3 meters na. And from there, dun ka tatakbo, magbubrelo ka, bago mo ihit yung ball. So it is usually seen to Eliza Valdez. At kapag ginawa niya talaga yun is yung crowd. Ang early point score, for example, is meron tayong two teams, si Team A and si Team B. Si Team A, nag-spike siya ng bola kay Team B, pero hindi na sila ni Team B. Hindi nila nabago yung bola. So, automatic yung point is mapupunta kay Team A. So, rally, kahit magpasapasahan kayo ng bola, kung hindi naman masasalo ng kalaban, yung point is mapupunta dun sa team na nag-serve. Next is yung juice. So, meron tayong tinatawag na juice 2. Sa volleyball, meron lang tayong 24 points. So, kapag nag-tayong 2 teams ng 24-24, magdadagdag sila ngayon ng 2 points. Tinatawag nilang juice 2. So, kapag naman nag-tay ulit, 26-26, another 2 points na naman. So, add lang ng add ng 2 points, kahit umabot kayo ng 30 points or 50 points, kung wala pa rin natatalo, tuloy-tuloy lang siya. Infinity siya. Unless na lang, kung hindi makahabol yung isang team, that's the time na meron na kayong madedeclare na winner. So, ayun na. Dami nilang sinabi na. Kala mo naman talaga mga volleyball player. So, ngayon, we're going to talk about the rules and regulations in playing a volleyball. So, the first one in rules and regulations playing a volleyball is you have to toss a point. So, dito, madedetermine mo kung sino ang team ang unang magsisip ng ball. So, ano sa tingin nyo? Tao, Ibor? Okay, tao siya. Sa ating players, ang 
volleyball and ito consists ito ng 6 players per team. So, yung pangalawa naman is the ball may not be played off in an adjustment court. Ibig sabihin, players must play in his own court. Dapat dun lang sila at dapat hindi sila lalagpas dun sa may free zone nila. Okay? Gets ba yan? Number 3. So, sinasabi dito that any ball that hits the ceiling or any outside objects is considered uh, out of play. So, very self-explanatory. Pagka yung ball daw, tumama siya sa ceiling or sa kahit anong bagay na outside ng court, considered siya as out of play. Number four, sinasabi naman dito na for safety purposes, jewelries should be removed or taped. So, etong mga hikaw-hikaw na yan, yan, tatanggalin yan. Or, pwede din naman na itape lang siya. Para, safe din na hindi tatamaan. Okay ba? Hi guys! I'm Jenica and I will teach you how to surf. First thing to do is, alam mo kung hanggang saan ka lang. <laughs> the lights. Okay? Pag nagsusurf tayo, bawal tayo, lumagpas. Next is, I will teach you the underhand and the overhand. Okay? Guys, remember, dapat alam mo kung hanggang saan ka lang. Bawal tayong umapak sa lines when we are going to surf. This is the underhand surf. Pwedeng naka-close yung hands natin. And ito yung pinaka-basic na ma-receive. Pwede rin tayo mag-bend ng onte for the extra force. And pwedeng naka-open yung hands natin. Depende sa force na mabibigay natin. Next, the overhand surf. Make sure to hit the ball above your head. And this is one of the hardest to receive. Make sure where your target is to prevent the errors. So, dugtong dun sa mga sinabi ni Jenica, ito yung pang-apat na mechanics sa pag-serve. Nag-serve ka, tapos tumama yung bola sa net, tapos nahulog sa court ng kalaban. Pag hindi nila nasalo yun, points natin yon. Pero pag nasalo nila, tuloy yung pag ng ball. So, ito naman yung pang-lima. Para malaman kung sino yung susunod na mag-serve is ganito. First, nag-serve yung, <coughs> nag yung team A, tapos hindi na balik ng team B, ang points ay mapupunta sa team A at sila na yung magsiserve. Ito naman yung pangalawang example. Pag nag-serve si team A, na balik ni team B at hindi na balik ng ni team A, ang point ay mapupunta sa team B at sila na ngayon ang magsiserve. Panganim na mechanic sa serve. Pag nag-serve yung opponent mo nyo, kailangan ang pag-receive mo ng bola, ang pag-receive mo nun is dapat bump. Letter C, playing the volleyball. Number 1, maximum of 3 hits per side. Number 2, player may not hit the ball twice in succession. Reminder that a block is not considered a hit. Number 3, Ball may be played off the net during a volley and on service. A ball touching a boundary line is good. So, kumbaga, naserve na yung bola, tapos hindi pa lumagpas sa court line, ibig sabihin, okay pa siya, hindi pa magiging score ng kalaban. A legal hit is a contact with a ball by a player body, above and including the waist, which does not include, allow the ball to be symbol, come to a rest. So, it means na, pag natamaan ng bola, Kahit sa bahagi, ang pang... Bahagi ang bahagi. Hindi pa rin siya kasali kung mag pwede siyang magpahinga o hindi. Hello everyone! I'm Jack. Now, let's talk about blocking and mechanics. Number one, ang maaari lang mamlock ay yung mga players na nasa frontline at yung mga nasa backline ay... Number two, ang block ay hindi kasama sa team count so ang team ay entitled pa rin na magkaroon ng tatlong contact to return the ball to the other team. Do you want more? PS will give you more. Saman kay Bujab para kay Jaya. Pasito po tayo sa rule number 3 and 4 na blocking. So in rule number 3, consider lang siya as blocking once na yung kamay ng blockers is above the net. Kapag kinatap ng blockers na i-block yung ball pero yung kamay nila is below the net it is already considered as first team in hindi na siya blocking. So, when it comes to hits naman, iba may rule na 3 hits lang pwede para mabalik yung ball at mapunta sa kapilang team. While sa case naman ng blocking, um, allowed yung blockers to have multiple 
contact sa sabon. So, in rule number 4, once na mas maunang mahawakan ng lockers yung wall kasi sa heaters, yung punch card, tapos makukunta sa kabilang team. <laughs> So, you must strike the ball in a manner such that you don't go, hold, or carry the ball. Second thing, bawal po tayong umapak doon sa linya o doon sa labas ng linya kapag nagsisipin. Bawal po yun. Third is, kailangan po yung bola lagi papunta doon sa taas ng net. Bawal sa sa ilalim or sa net. And fourth is, yung mga bagay po tayo hindi dapat hawakan at isa na din po doon ay yung net ng body. Number five, reaching under the net or interfere with the ball or the player. So here's a clip to show you what is it. Number six, not serving in the correct part. So here's a picture to show you. And number seven, hitting the ball out of bounds. So here's a clip to show you what is it. Number 8, double hitting. Kapag yung opponents nyo, na-serve na yung bola side nyo, tapos ikaw yung naka-receive, and then nag-bounce yung bola, tapos ikaw uli yung naka-receive, that's the double hitting. Yun yung violation. Number 9, hitting the ball more than 3 times. Kailangan, pag na-receive nyo yung bola, kailangan yung iset. Yung attacker nyo, kailangan madala na sa kabila yung bola. Kasi pag umang-apat pa sa inyo yung bola, that's the violation score na ng kalaban niya yun. So that's it guys. Tapos na nga 